Alright guys, what's going on? That was a terrible clap, but we got the hoodie on body today because we have a brand new pair of Nikes with some red on them. I feel like we haven't had a red Nike in a while. These were released on October 12th for a retail price of $140. And these right here are the Air Jordan 1 Low Howard Universities. These have been actually having a decent amount of hype behind them, even though they don't really have any resale value as I smack the box. But yeah, we got a bunch to cover with this shoe. It's a really, really clean shoe. I like it a lot. I'm just going to say that off the bat. One of my favorite lows to drop in a while. So these were pretty easy to get. If you wanted them, you should have been able to get them. Like I said, retail was $140. We got a navy and white glossy Air Jordan 1 box, which is actually very similar to the Travis Scott box. Interestingly enough, um... I don't know why these got such premium treatment, maybe because they're a university collab, but yeah, you got N Nike and Navy, Travis has brown, but the base color is similar, these may be a little bit lighter white, and there you have the side tag, these are straight from the Nike sneakers app, nothing really in the box, so let's jump straight into this shoe right here, so this is the shoe, on the lateral side, you can see we got a black toe color blocking, which is not this similar to the Air Jordan 1 high black toe that released, I actually didn't release yet, but I'm not gonna have them in hand tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But right here we got a similar color blocking. Well, it's the same color blocking, but you got red on the back, and you got navy on the front instead of black. So the swoosh is navy, the front is navy, the toe box is white. You got white laces pre-laced in the shoe. You got a Nike Air tag in red right there, which is characteristic of a black toe as well. You got one cool thing here is that the tongue is done in pink. This is similar to the Lost and Found Jordan ones, where the toe box and the majority of the shoe is done in white. And then this right here is done in pink. So that's something to keep in mind that's really cool. Um, you got the typical Nike text on the back of the tongue. Um, Nike Air inside the insole right there as you can see. Wings logo on the back making these an OG cut of the Air Jordan 1 low. Which is obviously a game changer. The midsole is a little bit darker than the rest of the white on the upper. It's more of a sail is the way I would describe it. And then the outsole is done in navy. So overall, this is a very cohesive color scheme. Like, it is modeled after the Howard University in Washington, D.C. Um, but overall, it's just a clean colorway. Like, I don't really see how you can dislike this shoe. That would be very difficult to do. Um, you got the Wings logo right here on the other shoe as well. Medial side, same as the lateral. Also in the right shoe, we do have a spare pair of navy laces right here. Done in the usual cardboard, which is characteristic of Nike shoes right now. To be environmentally friendly, a lot of people dislike that about the recent Nike releases. But I actually am not too angry about it um i think it's it's a nice touch nice good on nike to do um as far as other details on this shoe go there's really not that much to say i always feel this way about air jordan one lows like there's not that much i can actually say about them they're just a regular shoe but these are definitely cool like don't get me wrong at all there's nothing, like I said, really not to like. Quality-wise, I would say it's pretty good. The leather is pretty soft. The navy and red leather are both similar to one another. And then I think that the white is the softest of all. So the white leather is good. Um, and uh, Jordan and Nike frequently like to skimp out on leather quality on these VRs, especially with white leather, leather for some reason. So, it's nice to see that these actually have good leather quality. That's a relief. 
sizing wise, always go through the size on Air Jordan 1 lows. I almost never would see a reason to do anything different than that. So yeah, no, no reason not to do that. Um, as far as resale goes, these are not really going for anything. Uh, I don't see them going up anytime soon, but I do think they overall have potential to be a coveted shoe overall. So I think that you guys should definitely pick them up now because they're just really clean. I obviously like the shoe. Would I buy it? Probably not, <laughs> which sounds hypocritical, but it's just because I have so many shoes in my collection already that I don't really have a use for these. I have, well, I guess I am lacking a bit of red, but I got the loss of pounds and stuff, so I wouldn't really pick these up unless I was gifted them or something like that. Um, yeah, hit my line if you want to give me a pair of these. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, oh, I forgot to mention this right here. You got a little red Nike swoosh on the front toe box right there. People go wild for that detail on Nikes. The Para SB Dunks had those, or was it the Padas? One of those, I think it was the Paras. I can't remember, but one of those had the Nike swoosh on the toe and people went wild for those as well. Um, but yeah, so these also, these kind of look like the Trophy Room Jordan 1 Lowe's, which released this year as well, and those were pretty fire. Um, the box is obviously different, but the color scheme is similar. So, with all that being said, I'm going to end it off here. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think of these down below. I think a lot of you guys will like these a good amount. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care more to come. I'll see you all soon. Peace.